Hey everybody. Today we're talking about the exponential distribution in R. This models waiting time between identical, independent, randomly occurring events, like calls to a pizza place or defective products in a factory. I've got a whole vid introducing the exponential distribution. I'll throw a link up top. The exponential distribution is completely specified by a single parameter, either theta, the mean waiting time between events, or lambda, the mean number of occurrences of the event per unit time. All the base R functions use the rate parameter theta, not the scale parameter. Um, I'm sorry, the rate parameter lambda, not the scale parameter theta. So if you start with theta, you have to first take a reciprocal to get lambda before you can start using R functions. There are four basic functions in R for calculating in the exponential distribution. First is R exp, which is going to generate n random values from the specified exponential distribution. For instance, R exp 4 comma 2 generates four random values from the exponential distribution with mean number of occurrences per unit time equal to 2. Next, P exp, which is the cumulative distribution function. It returns the probability that the waiting time between two occurrences is no more than the specified value x. As usual in x, or as usual in r, x can be a vector. For instance, p x c 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, 1, 2 is going to give you the probability that the waiting time is no more than 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, and 1 in a situation where the mean number of occurrences per unit interval is equal to 2. Next is q exp, and this is the inverse distribution function. So it's going to return the value x such that p exp is equal to p. So it's computing quantiles in the specified exponential distribution. Of course, p can be a vector here too. I think this is clearer when we do an example. So let's look at q exp c 0.2, 0.4, 0.6, 0.8, comma 2. So again we have the parameter lambda equals 2, the mean number of occurrences per unit time is equal to 2. What we're getting back here is the um, are the values for which the probability that the waiting time is um, less than or equal to um, is going to be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, and 0 0.8. So there is a 20% chance that the waiting time is less than or equal to 0 0.11 a 40% chance that the waiting time is less than or equal to 0.255, and so on. Finally, d exp. This is the probability density function, or PDF, of the specified exponentially distributed random variable. Um, this is generally used in theoretical purposes. You don't use it for calculations quite as much, unless you need to draw a density plot. So for instance, here's some code to draw a density plot for the um, the exponentially distributed random variable that we've been looking at over the last few slides. Okay, let's do an example. Suppose that calls to a customer service line come in at an average rate of six every five minutes. So here lambda is equal to six fifths. First of all, what's the probability that at least three minutes elapse without a call? All right, let's swap over to R and take a look at this. I've already pulled up the help file for the exponential distribution with question mark R E X P. And you see that tells you about those four basic um, functions that we just talked about in those last few slides. So we want to find the probability that the waiting time is at least three minutes. So in this case, we want to do one minus the probability that it is less than or equal to three minutes. So one minus P E X P and um, the time we want is 3, and the parameter, lambda, is 6 fifths. Here we get about 2.7%. Second, what's the 95th percentile for the time between calls? Okay, so um, this one is going to be a Q exp. We're given a probability percentile, and we want to get a value back. So Q E X P the percentile we're interested in, written as a percentage, 0.95, and again, the parameter that we've got in this case is 6 fifths. So it's about 2.5. So um, two and a half minutes between calls is going to be the 95th percentile in this situation. Finally, let's simulate waiting time between 100 pairs of calls, and then let's plot the results. So to simulate the waiting time, we're going to use an R EXP. Um, Let's call this variable weights, or a W-A-I-T-S. 
we're going to get 100 values with that same parameter, 6 fifths. There we go. And let's graph this. Let's do it with um, let's do it with tidyverse. Let's use um, the qplot function. So library tidyverse. And all we really need is a qplot, so we don't need to build a data frame with this. Um, histogram is going to be the default geome. That's great. Let's put in a little bit of boundary color on this. Um, just so that we can tell the things apart. Call equals I parenthesis quote black. Let's see how that looks. Not too bad. We could add some labels, do some other things to make this look better. One thing does jump out at me here, though, and that is that we have um, a short bar here at zero. And that's because R has set a bin with a center of zero and not with a leftmost endpoint of zero. Um, in other words, ignoring the fact that the exponential distribution is never going to give you back negative waiting times. So um, I'm going to add an argument here to fix this. Um, boundary equals zero, and that should take care of it. And that looks a little bit more like the exponential distribution that I had in mind. 